Okay, in this video today for FiberglassSite.com, we're going to talk about the different kinds of cloth that we have available. Um, we're going to start with the lightest and we're going to move to the heaviest. Uh, this is our 1.5 ounce cloth. On our website, we say that it's four times finer than silk. I don't know if you can see me through it or not, but it is so light that it's very difficult to handle. Um, this would be for covering a model airplane wing or something like that. It's super, super, super light, very thin. Um, you would never use this on a boat. Uh, you, it's just way, way, way too thin. It wouldn't be used for a boat. It wouldn't be used to strengthen anything. You wouldn't use this to waterproof anything. 1.5 ounce cloth would only be used for model airplanes. The next step up from 1.5 ounce is 2.5 ounce. Now the 2.5 ounce, even though it's, even though it's only one ounce thicker, it's much sturdier. Look at that. This is 2.5 ounce cloth. It's very inexpensive and it comes in a 56 inch width. This also would be used for modeling, mostly for modeling. Um, but there would be some places that you could use this on a boat. If you did chop strand mat on the boat or a biaxial mat 1708 and you wanted to get a really smooth finish at the end, you could, you could take this 2.5 ounce cloth and use this as a finish coat because it's so inexpensive and it absorbs such a small amount of resin, it would be good for a finish coat or it would be good if you're making a bigger, a larger model airplane or maybe a model boat, the 2.5 ounce cloth would be good for that. And if you look on the website, you'll see this is very inexpensive, comes in a 56 inch width and that's very good. The next step up from there is we have our four ounce and our six ounce and you'll notice on the website that we have two kinds of four ounce and two kinds of six ounce. Um, the six ounce boating cloth, if you, uh, if you wanted six ounce cloth, nine times out of ten you would get our six ounce boating cloth. This is our six ounce boating cloth and this is our, the other six ounce cloth that we have listed on our website. This very tightly woven six ounce cloth is used sometimes as an insulator in roofing. It's used mostly for commercial purposes. If you are doing work on a boat or a canoe or a kayak and you need six ounce cloth, you're going to order our six ounce boating cloth. If I hold it up, you can probably see the light through it. The resin is going to saturate through this beautifully. This is a very, very nice six ounce cloth. If you were going to do a kayak, a canoe, a surfboard, this six ounce cloth would work out great. It's 50 inches wide. Our price is a very reasonable price. Made in the USA. All, the, all of our cloths are made in the USA, by the way. None of the cloths are made in China. The next thing, the, the four ounce cloth, it's the same thing we talked about with the six ounce cloth. We have one that's very tightly woven, extremely tightly woven, and this would be used, this is used by roofing companies as an insulator between the roofing and the shingles, and most of the time consumers would not buy this. We sell this to industry, and they buy it in very large amounts. If you were doing a kayak, a canoe, again, or a surfboard. Some people like to use a lighter cloth on their surfboard. This is a beautiful four ounce cloth. It's woven so that the you can lay it down and put the resin on it and the resin will go right through. A very, very nice cloth. Comes in a 50 inch width. Made in the USA. Very, very nice. So the four ounce and the six ounce. If you order four ounce or six ounce from our website most of the time, unless you're ordering it for industrial purposes, you're going to order the cloth that's called four ounce boating cloth or six ounce boating cloth. Cloth-wise, the next step up from there 
is our 10 ounce cloth. And we have two different 10 ounce cloths. This is our 10 ounce 38 inch wide cloth. And you see, this is, <laughs> if you don't know what cloth that to use, order 10 ounce cloth. The 10 ounce cloth is the most versatile. It's soft, it'll, it'll take any shape. If you need more strength, you can use more layers of it. It's just a great all around cloth. And it, if we have it in a 38 inch width and a 60 inch width. The only difference between the two is the 60 inch width is flat woven. If I hold that up against me, you might be able to see that it's very, very flat. The 38 inch width is made from strands of cloth that are first twisted and then woven into a cloth. The 60 inch wide 10 ounce boating cloth is made from strands that are bundles but they're not twisted so it's flatter and smoother. So if you want a 10 ounce cloth and you want a smoother finish where you don't get print through, with the 10 ounce you can get print through. Print through means that you're still going to feel the print after you put the resin on. To get rid of print through you can just put a skim coat of resin on top of this or not. If you, you know, print through you don't have to get rid of it but you can. Um, with this, with the 6 ounce, 60 inch, I mean with the 10 ounce, 60 inch wide cloth, you're not going to get print through because it's flat woven. And we do have a 6 ounce, 60 inch wide cloth that is also flat woven. We only sell that in 25 yard rolls because that's used by the surfboard makers and they buy it in the larger amounts. So for now, you can only get our 60 inch wide since six ounce cloth in 25 yard rolls. It comes in a 60 inch width and a 30 inch width. All right, from there, we're gonna go to chop strand mat. Now, if you've watched our other videos, I don't have to tell you what chop strand mat is for, but I'm gonna explain it here anyway. Chop strand mat, the difference between chop strand mat and cloth is that chop strand mat is used for waterproofing. One pound of cloth absorbs one pound of resin. Chop strand mat absorbs about one and a half times its weight in resin. Because it absorbs much more resin, you get two results from it. One is a much better waterproofer and two, you get um, stiffness more quickly. That's why um, 1.5 ounce chop strand mat is used for making molds. You use, about, you use layers and layers, five, six, seven, eight layers of this to make a mold. And then for the parts, you might use five or six layers of 1.5 ounce mat. And because it absorbs more resin than cloth, uh, it is stiffer, you get, you get a stiffer product quicker, and this is extremely inexpensive. Um, when we have it on sale, a 70 yard roll of this is $120. I mean, that is very good, and it's, it's probably the second most popular thing that we sell next to Biaxial Mass 1708. Um, we sell more 1.5 ounce chop strand mat than anything. The other chop strand mat we have is two ounce chop strand mat. Two ounce chop strand mat is used only for flat surfaces. It has more binder in it. Binder is what holds all these little strands together. You see how they're held together? That's a binder. And one important thing, our chop strand mat uses a binder that can be used with epoxy or polyester resin. Um, that goes for our 1708, our chop strand mat. Um, there are some chop strand mats sold that you cannot use with epoxy resin. You can use our chop strand mat with epoxy resin. No problem at all because it has a powder binder. All right, the next step up from there is going to be your woven rovings. We've got two kinds of woven roving. 
This is 18 ounce woven roving. We sell a lot more of this than the 24 ounce woven roving and I'll explain why. As you can see the 18 ounce woven roving it's nice and neat. You see how nice and neat and straight those lines are? And even where I cut it on the edge, it's unraveling some. If you look on this edge, it's unraveling some, but not much. So the 18 ounce woven roving is much more popular than the 24 ounce woven roving. The only time you would use 24 ounce woven roving is if you need to build up thickness very quickly. If you don't want to do a whole lot of layers of 18 ounce woven roving, 24 ounce woven roving tends to unravel more. If you see that at the bottom, it tends to unravel more. But if you need a lot of strength, 18 ounce woven roving and 24 ounce woven roving are relatively inexpensive. Um, one pound of this absorbs one pound of resin, just like cloth. Uh, this is very, very strong, very easy to use, wets out very well. People used to use a combination. They would do one layer of 1.5 ounce mat, and then they would do a layer of 18 ounce woven roving. And then someone who's very intelligent decided to make a product that contains both. This is called Biaxial Mat 1708. On this side, it has 17 ounces of roving and if you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera or not, they are laid on top of each other at a 45 degree angle and then stitched together and I'll tell you the benefit of that in a moment. And then on the back, it's called three quarter ounce but it's eight ounces per square yard. That's where the eight comes from. 17 ounces of roving, eight ounces of mat. Uh, for a total of 25 ounces per square yard. This can be used with epoxy or polyester. Um, the great, one of the really great benefits of it, 18 ounce woven roving doesn't like to go around corners. Because it's woven, when you go to put it around corners, it resists. Biaxial mat 1708 is not woven. The strands are laid on top of each other and then a machine comes along and lays a strand every about, one, about every eighth of an inch and it's stitched together and you can see I can wrap this around my finger so when you're doing stringers when you're doing anything where you gotta put a whole lot of strength the Biaxial Mat 1708 um, works very well. We have the best price on the internet on the chop strand mat, the woven roving, the biaxial mat 1708. If you look at our prices, we have the very lowest prices on the biaxial mat 1708. Also the cloths, if you take a look at the cloths, we have the very best prices. One other thing I wanted to mention is most companies, if you order five yards of, or less of roving mat cloth, what they do is they fold it up, they crunch it into a box, and they mail it to you to save on shipping, it ruins it. Once you fold this, you get a crease in it, and it's very difficult to get that crease out. And if you're doing fine work, you know, with 10 ounce cloth that you paid $6 a yard for, you don't want it to have that crease in it. All, everything that we, every bit of mat and cloth and roving that we ship, we ship on a roll. Um, I'm folding it here just to show it to you, but um, there's nothing that we send out in a box. There's no mat or cloth or roving that we send out in a box. Everything goes out on a roll. And that way, when you get it, it's in perfect, beautiful condition, just the way it came from the factory. Right, cutting. With the cloths, like the 10 ounce cloth, and the lighter cloths, you can just re use regular old granny scissors to cut the cloth. You can also use them on the chop strand mat and on the heavier weaves, but it's difficult. So there are different tools you can get. These are Black & Decker electric scissors. We used to be able to get these for $15 each. Now they're $40 or $50 each. So we found an alternative. This is made by a company called Mighty Fine. 
my tea fine. I have no relation with them. I don't make any money off them. But they have these on Amazon for less than $40. And they will cut through the thinnest cloth and they will cut through biaxial mat 1708. So these, in the future, this is all we're going to buy. Also, um, for the biaxial mat 1708, if you need to cut it in patterns or if you're going to be cutting a lot of it, um, Home Depot or Lowe's, each store has these. This is called a rotary cutter. You see that the, uh, the uh, knife in there spins. Uh, it might not be red. Sometimes they're blue. And sometimes this is made by skill, but there are different companies that make different kinds of rotary cutters. The rotary cutter, you don't want to use it on cloth. It'll snag in the cloth. But on woven roving, it works very well. On biaxial mat, it works very well. But all around, this is the best cutter that we've used so far. And that is that. Now with the woven roving, 18 ounce and 24 ounce, you can use polyester or epoxy resin. Um, with, our, with any of the cloths, that are called boating cloth on our website, you can use polyester or epoxy. With our chop strand mat, as I said before, because we use a powder, the, the company that makes it for us uses a powder binding, you can use epoxy or polyester. Um, the biaxial mat 7008, you can use any resin with this, polyester or epoxy. The only cloth that we don't recommend using um, polyester resin is those industrial cloths that we talked about, which you're probably not going to be using anyway unless you're in, in industry. They only use epoxy resin with these very tightly woven cloths. Otherwise, every cloth on our website, except for the um, that the tightly woven four ounce, the tightly woven six ounce, those are the only two that you can't use um, polyester on. Everything else on our website, chop strand mat, woven roving, biaxial mat, you can use polyester or epoxy.